Next up, we got the vitamin C with some pineapple, mango, orange juice, and coconut powder. Let's see if this gets a boom or a doom. Hi, I'm Goof. Yo, what is up, fam man Dar? Darman here, back again with a brand new video. My Russian best friend Darman just continuously drops bangers, and you guys absolutely love these videos. And for the guy like, yeah, man, you've made like 50 Darman videos. Okay, imagine you're selling pizza, and then the sausage and cheese pizza makes like so much money. Would you stop selling the pizza just because people like get it a lot? Or there's one guy who's like, okay, make a new pizza. Like, it's your best selling pizza. And whenever I make other pizzas, no one fucking buys them. So, uh, fuck it, we're back on Darman. Gentlemen, let's say you're having trouble getting it up and you wanna buy something to fix that problem. But by all means, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys end up enjoying the video, drop a like, uh, subscribe, and let's go. Yo, what the fuck? Darman has his own Halloween series? Young mom sells her soul for her dream job, uh, Famdar Studios. Also, for those wondering, I sold my soul for YouTube subscribers. They are no business, <laughs> Do you think Darman did this to get popular? I could totally see him doing it, bro. He has the too brand friendly, too HR friendly. Hey, Darman fan. Do you think he made this video to please his higher power or his lower power? No, the Harry Potter Death Eaters from the Goblet of Fire are gonna fucking P. Diddy her. No. Isn't this channel for five-year-olds? Uh, my, my, uh, my grandmother watches Starman when she eats mac and cheese and shit. Ah! Hey, cutie. Oh, you packed and ready to head out? Mom's making me a PB and J. I want one. Honestly, if I had to go home and see this fat fuck, he's like skinnier than me. If I had to go home and see this nice upstanding gentleman every day, I would sell my soul too. Sorry? We only have enough bread for one. Hey. I uh, know you don't want to hear this again, but if things are tight, you could save on bills if we move back in together, Rach. Everything will work itself out once the job offer starts. We're coming in. I thought you said you already got a few offers. I have, but none of them have been right. Isn't a job a job? I take it back, I like the Indian guy better. This bitch is so fucking annoying, look at her, she's like stressed out, and since she's stressed out, she just like stonewalls him, and then he's like, oh, can I have a bite of your, uh, of your pussy, I mean your peanut butter, and then she's like, I graduated top of my class in law school. You see what I'm saying? I graduated top of my class in law school, entitled prick. Oh, uh, maybe she's just proud of her past. Okay. I worked hard and made sacrifices so I would have opportunities. I'm looking for the perfect firm, one where I can really make a name for myself. Uh, Dumpy, you're, you're being really mean to her. She's clearly stressed out about uh, money and shit or whatever the fuck. I don't know, I'm like, I'm like trying to follow the video, but at the same time, it's like, it's a party in Darman's pants. But bro, she literally so sells her soul for her dream job, and then she gets chased around by the fucking Goblet of Fire Death Eaters. Like, okay, dude, Order of the Phoenix. Maybe they're Order of the Phoenix, the hoods, I don't know. I just don't like seeing you and Melissa struggle like this. Yeah, me neither. It's only temporary. I just don't want Melissa to grow up poor like I did. Just... Hello, yes, this is Rachel. Re yeah, really? Yes, of course. 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'll be there. Thank you so much. The person on the phone. Yeah, so we're going to need a sample of your blood and you're going to have to get some pentagram set up and some candles and uh, yeah, you'll be a millionaire. I mean, that's the whole reason why I started YouTube. That was Bishop Gooden Parker, one of the most prestigious law firms in the country and they want to interview me. Me. They want me, I tell you. Me. Like, you're an asshole. Okay, you're a fucking asshole. And for everyone who's defending her, did you not see how she treated her dude or her ex dude or her baby dad or something? I don't know what, what the, the relationship, her actual dad. Yay, mom. That's amazing. <laughs> They're renowned for winning some very high profile cases and almost as well known for being an incredibly small, tight knit group made up entirely of women. Getting an interview with them is almost unheard of. Oh my gosh. 
I need to get my hair done before the interview and- Yeah, she's already lost her mind. Do you see this? This is like Fousey Tube 2023. Give me the address. 7134. No, no, no. Fuck! Familiarize myself with their case history. Shoot. Do you think you can take her for the whole weekend? I mean, is it wrong to say it sounds like she's not even getting ready for a job interview? It sounds like she's getting ready to apply at a fucking brothel. Her entire vibe changed. She went from being like, it's a fucking job interview. Like, shut up. Just let me have some fun, man. Please, dude, please. Please, I really have to get started but on. But you never spend time with me. I know, I'm sorry. Ooh, what a change of pace. Instead of the abandoner father, it's the abandoner mother. Relatable. I'm sorry, baby. First it was the LSATs, then the exams, then the bar. But don't worry. Soon, mom will be making a lot of money. Yeah, but you have to sacrifice the kid. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then I can buy you whatever you want. I don't want any materialistic items. I just want my mommy. Bro, if she says that, bro, I swear to God. I don't want anything. I just want you. I don't want this motherfucker. She shits her pants and she's 13. Hey. I'll eat the poop out of your diaper. How about I take her to get ice cream? <gasps> Bro, they're treating her like she's five years old. Like, she's clearly in, uh... I, I really can't even tell. Thank you. Mom, what about my nature badge for brownies? We're supposed to go on a hike tomorrow. We're talking either fifth grade or ninth grade. Um, peanut butter jelly. When did I stop eating peanut butter jellies? Never. I mean, I guess she could be 52. If you don't take me, I'll be the only one without that badge. I know, I know, I know, I know, and I promise I will take you sometime next week. Does that sound nice? Doesn't that sound nice? Doesn't that sound nice? Okay, please, <laughs> mom. Alright, come here. I love you so much. Maybe if I squeeze hard enough, she'll never breathe again. I feel like that's a fair assessment because she quite literally sells her soul in this video. I love you too. Wow, I really didn't expect to interview with the three named partners. Well, we weren't expecting such an- Oh god. Yeah, they're demonic as fuck. Dude, I feel like if I watch this video, I'm gonna summon my, uh, my personal demon back, and he loves to play with my holes. My ear holes. He puts his dick in it. It comes out the other side of my head. Rachel, come in. Whoa. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and react to the entire 30-minute video, or else this video would be like two hours because I talk too much. But let's get to the demon sacrifice. For context, she got the job, and it's de demonic or something. This place is amazing. It's so cozy and full of heirlooms. The office has a much more modern decor. I have many sides to my personality. Quite a few skeletons in my closet, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> because they kill people and put the bodies in the closet? Rachel, have a glass of wine. No, thank you. I don't really drink. Oh, please, have a glass with us. It's my retirement party after all. Retirement? Yo, she's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe just one. Yes, a little faster, dear. <laughs> you have some catching up to do. <laughs> Is it really worth it? I understand making money to provide for your family and some people are gonna sell their pussy hole and shit, but... I think selling your soul is worse than your pussy hole. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> 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 Told bro we geek hard as fuck. Honestly, you gotta feel bad for her because like all she wanted to do is spend time with her kid and like not go to work. What 
is this hotel? Hey, the gym. It's exactly what we said it was, my dear. <laughs> she, <laughs> did she break character to respond her? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. If I'm doing this whole thing, I'm wearing the robes. I do wear robes that are white, though. But if I'm in the situation and I'm trying to be all creepy and shit, I'm not gonna respond and just- I'm gonna be like, Asulamo Salahase! What's up with this motherfucker breaking character? Like, I don't know. A retirement party for Alice. <laughs> <laughs> She's retiring from her old body and stepping into a new one. Yawn! <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, what are you talking about? Crazy? Not at all, dear. It's actually quite simple. Our coven has been using this spell for hundreds. Okay, I think we get it, bro. Hanged Virginian Nos Fagimus. This won't hurt a bit. We're simply going to switch your body with Alice's. You'll be in hers, and she'll be in yours. Alice's body is more hot. Sue me. I don't care. I would take the deal. You could be an asset. I look like this now, that's why I don't show my face anymore in my videos. What do you say? Okay. Oops. You're telling me it was that easy? They transformed the Green Lantern's ring into a necklace and she had to just step on it? Really? Mommy, what happened? <sighs> I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I was just trying to give us all a good life. I, I should have listened to you both. You are the most important thing in the world to me, Melissa. No, she's not. It's a good thing this attorney measures success is not how much money you make. How many people you help? Thank you. Thank you. Let's start from the beginning. Huh. Well, I hope I uh, helped someone watching the video. Maybe I helped you, right? Maybe you're about to jump off a bit. Well, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. Sorry that it was all over the place today. I have a lot going on right now. Just kidding. I have absolutely nothing going on right now. Just kidding. I've been really busy. Uh, just kidding. They really love me. It's my turn. You got a problem. I let that iron bust. I don't fuck with fake love. You can keep that lust. I don't got a drug problem, but I feel a rush. I am finally up. Don't hit my line.